hi hello this is Catherine uh, here I am going to explain my ninth experiment that is key means based clustering I have the Ripley data set I just connect it with the port run this here I get the output as label 0 0 0 for everything and I here have uh, two attributes attribute 1 and attribute 2 for 250 examples for the data set again if I go to the um, design part I choose Ripley data set and I choose clustering in clustering I choose k-means algorithm connect boots here the k-means operator performs clustering using k-means algorithm the clustering is concerned with grouping objects together that are similar to each other and dissimilar to the objects belonging to the other clusters clustering is a process of partitioning a set of data into a set of meaningful subclasses called clusters the similar objects in cluster and the dissimilar classes in the another cluster that is uh, compared between the distance between them and k-means clustering uh, the clustering uses k-means algorithm it's a process of data mining and it is used to cluster observations into group of related observations without any period knowledge of relationships here i have the data set of input example set and we have the clustering of that is the output cluster model which tells which examples are part of which cluster i just run this program here i have the id that is one two zero the id attribute which distinguishes the examples clearly and i have two attributes and the cluster and the cluster which shows cluster 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 and here i have the clustering model the in uh, here in table i have totally clustered 0 of 1 to 1 items and the cluster 1 of 1 1 items and the total number of items is shown here is 250 if i go for the uh, graph charts here the group of similar objects are grouped here using clustering here the label shows 0 with blue and 1 with red here the same group of items that is partitioning the data into the group of same related similar data items are grouped together that is called clustering the clustering is done using k-means algorithm and the data sets are clustered the blue zero values and one red values are clustered uh, clustered by their own groups own uh, the objects are grouped by their own groups again going back to the design part here i took ripley data set and again my k-means clustering algorithm and i choose data to similarity then again i go for performance that is the performance density cluster density performance here i connect the ports i run this program here I get the performance vector that is average within cluster distance that is minus 52.325 for distance for the cluster 0 and cluster 1. All the average performance vectors are shown over here and the replay data set. And here I have the uh, data set examples for 1. 
and going for clustering um, notations are shown here again going back to the display part the data to similarity uh, is used uh, to generate a similarity measure object and the cluster density performance that is performance is um, used for performance evaluation of the centroid based clustering methods and the CDP that is cluster density performance which evaluates the performance of this model and delivers a, a performance vector in the output that is here the performance vector and that it has the that it has to play a criteria a criteria values it has some criteria values and that's all for the ninth experiment thank you for listening